Hello and welcome to blog number 55, me learning to play the Melodeon and uh, my fantastic experiences I have uh, while I've been doing it. In the last blog you saw my souped up Hona Erica which is in the keys of D and G. Uh, while I was over at Martin's um, I picked up uh, another box. It's called MAD if you don't know, if you haven't heard of this before it stands for Melodeon Acquisition Disease and uh, I saw this box and uh, fell in love with it so I kind of bought it and, and I'm going to show it to you now. This is a Sauterell Pastorel 2. Now if you've watched my blogs in the past you'll know that uh, about four years ago, no five years ago, I bought another Sauterell box which was a Connemara 3 which was bigger and heavier than this. It was black, it was a fantastic box um, I tired of the sound fairly quickly and ended up buying a very, very light uh, Dino Buffetti, which you probably know. Um, so I wasn't really looking to buy another saw trail. I had been looking for a, a lightweight two voice DG. Um, this isn't particularly lightweight, um, although it's a lot lighter than some DGs. It comes in with the straps around about 8.8 um, .8 pounds. It's a very interesting box in the sense that it's DG, okay, this row is uh, G, this row is D, and it's got these five buttons giving me some extra accidentals. Over here, you can see that it's got not the standard um, eight bass, but it has 12 bass buttons, and I'll go through those for you in a moment so you can, um, so you can hear them. Um, it's got a stop, on the bass side for removing the thirds from the chords and uh, we've been through that before what that actually means um, what it does mean if you don't know is that you can uh, have uh, these what we call five chords so instead of having uh, a C major you have a C5 which can be played as a major and a minor or a minor so um, you know that's a very useful thing to have um, it's finished in walnut it's about 10 years old it's got a few you know dings and dents as you, as you would expect um, but it's in really good condition. The, the bellows are really good, really tight, and really airtight, I should say, not really tight. I made that mistake in a previous blog and got told off for it. Um, lovely fretwork. You know, these French boxes are beautifully made. They're not to everyone's taste. Um, and as I say, I wasn't sure I was ever going to buy another saw drill, but I really like the sound of this. So just have a listen to some notes on the G row. <laughs> D row. And the basses. And it has got, I suppose, that fairly distinctive Sauterelle sound, which, as I say, won't be to everyone's taste. Um, but I really like the sound of this box. I think it sounds fantastic and it's going to be. Um, uh, a, a very nice addition to my uh, my boxes. Um, it's a fourth button start. I was saying in the last video that my Hona Erica has been uh, tuned in the Anahata layout where I've got a complete G major scale in the lower buttons. Uh, this one has got the standard extension of the, the major uh, triad. So if you say that's G, you hear it's just running down. So the bottom three extension of the G major triad, D major there, and here extension of the D major triad and the A major there. So you've got essentially low notes and you've got your accidentals. But the good thing about these accidentals, they are they are an octave lower than you normally find these accidentals being. And if you want uh, the normal pitch of those accidentals, they're actually here for that one and there for that one and there are more accidentals here sort of octaves on the other accidentals and you know it's early days for me with this so I'm not sure how useful that will be one example I can give you is on uh, Drunken Sailor yeah on Drunken Sailor I can use this uh, button over here to do the nice 
little uh, slur there. Um, whereas before I was having to reach down here, in fact, that, that would, wouldn't be the appropriate note because that's an octave lower now. Obviously there it's a lot easier. That's just one very quick example of where the accidentals on this row can come in handy and hopefully over the next few weeks I can experiment and show you some more. Um, if I just take the thirds out of the chords, you can hear some of the chords. So there's a, a G5 chord, C5 chord, over here of course, D5 in that direction and in that direction, okay. Uh, over here you'll have E5 in that direction, B5 in that direction. This one is actually um, tuned to B minor. Sometimes this button is a B major from the factory. This has been probably retuned to B minor. Of course, without the third, it's a B5, so it can be major or minor. So if you want to know what the extra buttons are up here, you've got some what we call reversals. Put the um, thirds back in for a minute. So these top two up here on the push are A, that's a reversal of those two. And uh, on the pull, they're G's, reversal of those G's down there. On the inside row, these extra two are F sharp minor and F major. Of course, if you want that to be F sharp five, take the, third, take the thirds out. And that'll do for F sharp minor and F sharp major. And of course, that'll do for F minor and F major. So some handy extra buttons. Um, you know, you can play it as a standard DG, just keep your hand down and just sort of ignore these extra four up here and that doesn't take too much doing. Um, but so far, I'm really liking it. As I say, it's a little heavier than I would have liked. Uh, I mean, I noticed on somebody's website, they said it was 3.5 kilograms. Well, it, it isn't, but I suppose if you add on the straps, I suppose you're, you're getting nearer at four, which is the actual weight of it with the straps. Um, so it's not incredibly light. It's actually lighter than my funny old orange Hona Compadre, but it's, you know, quite a bit heavier than my Erica, a couple of pounds heavier. But it feels fine here sitting down playing it. Um, I'll give you a little tune on it, so you can hear what it sounds like, and then um, over the, uh, the weeks, hopefully I will improve upon it, find out more things I can do in it and show you. As it's a French box, I suppose I should play a French tune. sure about the tuning may still have to have a few notes tweaked um, Martin did tweak the E on the G row from yesterday because it sounded weird to me I mean I think it's true to say there's no such thing as a perfectly in tune melodeon same as there's no such thing as a perfectly in tune guitar it's always a compromise uh, depending on what key you're in um, but uh, you know this is pretty close and maybe just a few uh, ver very small tweaks that I'll want Martin to make uh, on this one for me. Um, I am incredibly fussy about tuning, um, like probably lots of you out there, and uh, you know I find in the end it offends my ears so much I can't actually play the instrument if I can't get it in tune. So we'll we'll see how that works out. But you know thus far, obviously I've made a massive saving on the price of a new one of these, so that's been uh, very very pleasing, and. Uh, so watch this space and see how I get on. And I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next vlog.